All right, so how do you take a derivative? It's not that hard. Whenever you've got a function f of x, all you need to do is follow a few simple rules. So in general, for my kind of issues, you're going to have some function a x to the b. How do you get the derivative? f prime of x, you drop the exponent on x down to the front. So you have b times a x to the b, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. So the derivative is b times a times x to the b minus 1 power. Now, suppose you've got a function f of x and y. So in particular, Cobb-Douglas functions, you see this kind of stuff a lot. So you've got a y to the b power, x to the c power, and you want to take the derivative with respect to x. So f of sub x, x and y, you follow the same rules. So what do you do? Well, you recognize these two things have nothing to do with x. So they work just like this a thing up here. So you drop the exponent on x down. c times a y to the b, x to the c, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent on x. You don't touch the a y to the b stuff because you're taking the derivative with respect to x, not y. If you wanted to take the derivative, say, with respect to y, what would you do? Follow the exact same pattern. Drop the exponent on y down in front, a y to the b, subtract 1 from the exponent on y, and don't forget you've got x here at the end. Very similar, very simple, very regular. Just get used to it. Suppose you've got a function f of x equals a times x. So here the exponent on x is 1. Well, how do you take the derivative of that, f prime of x? You're dropping, really, that exponent of 1 down in front. Again, this is like a x to the 1 power times a x to the 1 minus 1. Well, this is 0. 1 times a x to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is just a 1. So you've got 1 times a times 1, or just a. That is how you take derivatives. It's very simple, very similar time and time again. One last thing to think about is if the function f of x is equal to the log of x, there it's a little bit different. So what happens to it? f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. Don't ask why, it's not important why. That's how you take derivatives.